We're back with our second of two interviews with Knoxville mayoral candidate Jeff Tallman. We talked to him yesterday about some of his personal priorities. Today, Jeff, we're going to look at the city budget in Knoxville and talk about where we spend the most money in the city. And you can see from this graph, it is public safety. 42 cents of every dollar goes to the police department, essentially. Let's talk about that slice of the pie and any changes you would like to see. The important thing is not just what's spent, it is the support that's articulated and given and, and at every moment, and particularly when things go sideways. So that, one of my concerns is that we send mixed signals for our hardworking frontline police and safety personnel. And I can go into more detail with that than three minutes will allow, but uh, I mentioned yesterday the, may, the melee at uh, Texas Avenue uh, yesterday preceded by melee, uh, you know, in, in previous years. And at some point, Knoxville needs to be uh, aware of uh, the chaos that we uh, allow in our most fragile parts of the community. And so it's not just about spending money. Spending money is the easy part. It's the attitude, it's the support, it's the backup. It's the, in some ways, we have a, uh, we talk about retraining the police. I think on some level, we need to retrain some of our citizens. Would you, would you be in favor of raising the pay for Knoxville police officers? I think uh, we, we, yeah, to the extent that we can. And uh, because at the end of the day, uh, uh, safety uh, is job one. Uh, we can do bike trails, we can have a lot of great urban amenities, but protecting your citizens is a key thing. And I've heard people describe uh, law enforcement as protecting the law abiding from the, those who are, uh, are lawless. And I think in some ways the, the, the opposite is really true. It's uh, the law enforcement who protects the lawless from what the law abiding would do if we could get our hands on them. <laughs> well, let's talk quickly before we move to where the money comes from. Um, what about the co-responder program? That's something where you don't have just uh, two officers go out. You have an officer with a mental health expert who go on calls. Are you fa in favor of those programs? Totally. In yeah. fact, we've got a lot of fragile people in our community. And if you look at the institutions of family and, and uh, what I call the small platoons of society, uh, church and rotary clubs and scout troops and the like, uh, all those things are under assault. Get ready. We're going to have a lot more people under, under serious stress. The co-responder is a great program. I think in some ways part of the mixed signals that gets sent in Knoxville is the alternate response discussion that's being entertained. Mm -hmm. It is effectively a backdoor way of defunding the police. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, if you look at the way in which the proponents of the alternate response uh, team uh, conduct themselves in city council meetings, they don't demonstrate what I, I think should be a, uh, a therapeutic bedside manner if indeed they want to offer uh, therapeutic care. Uh, the, in, in the uh, Helen Ross McNabb, who's mm -hmm. not been approached by these folks, uh, they, they will not go on, on calls unless there's uh, uh, law enforcement there to protect them. We've got to run, but uh, quickly, any reason that you can see for a tax increase? This is where the money comes. Property taxes, 50%. Any reason you would raise taxes under your administration? Not, not at all. I'm, I'm about unleashing our community's imaginations and a new wave of responsible entrepreneurial capitalism. We're going we're gonna to grow the revenue here rather than worry about uh, you know, how we spend it. So That's where you stand. That, Jeff Tallman. Appreciate, appreciate it. it very much. Good luck on the campaign trail. Todd, we're going to turn it over to you to talk more about those temperatures, which are rather comfortable for this time in July.